Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you all the cave secrets and roots of Pacha. And I'll be covering from the dark rooms to free costumes and many more. Do take note that most of these locations require you to unlock all the powers of the spirit. So you have to at least finish the beer's challenge. By the way, all the credit goes to the wonderful people of the Roots of Pacha official Discord server especially to Maluna and everyone who contributed to the Minu Wiki for sharing this information to all Pachans. Thank you so much! Now let's get to it! Let's first talk about the free costumes. See this dress I'm wearing? Super cute, right? Here's how you can get it. The Flower Frog Outfit Travel to the beach using the Glyphodon's teleporter. We'll be going two rooms to the left, which is this room. Use the monkey pad till you get to the left spot. You'd want to go to this spot in the middle and save this location by standing right here in case you fall or something. But to avoid falling, here's what you gotta do. Move two tiles to the right, then four tiles down, one to the left, three down, one right, tree down and there you have it head over to this torch and light it and then talk to this glyphodon for the outfit by the way this outfit has a matching hat let me show you how to get it the flower hat travel to stomp your feet and then go down keep going through this passage Walk up here until you see this vine in the middle. Walk down, straight into this wall, and find your way to this Glyphodon. There we go. Now let's get to the next hat. The mushroom hat, mushroom area, and the gem area. Travel to the forest and go up two times then turn left. Use the owl pad to fly over this floating middle area. This area is the only spot in game to get the strange mushrooms which are needed for forage completion. Unfortunately, it didn't spawn for me today, so I'll just have to try again tomorrow. It's a little bit rare. So that's it for the mushroom area. Let's use this monkey pad right here and head over to the next area. If you think you'll be getting seeds from this, well, think again. This plants right here gives actual crops instead of seed. For the last freebie of this map, walk up and arrive at the gem area. These areas spawns gem, silver, and gold nodes every day, which could be a perfect spot for farming materials that you need for accessory upgrades. Don't forget to talk to this Glyptodon right here for a free hack. Here's another spot for farming gems. Head over to the cloud garden and make a right turn. Walk through this wall over here and you'll arrive to the hidden gem spot. Like the one in the mushroom area, this spot generates multiple gem nodes every day too. You'd also want to talk to this Glyphodon for free bear claws every season. And since we're already near cloud garden, let me show you the other hidden room. Cloud Garden's not-so-secret room. From Cloud Garden, use the owl pad and fly west and then south. You'll arrive to the secluded part where you need to break a couple of rocks to unlock the entrance of the not-so-secret room. Once it's open, you'll have access to Patches Tulips which you can use to craft a Union Reef. This is used for marrying in multiplayer or for forming a union with any of the romanceable NPCs in case you miss your chance at their 10th flower event. Golden Pomegranate Another freebie is the Golden Pomegranate that you can get every season. You'll be able to get this once you finish all of the cave trials. Travel to the Glyphodon then and use the Alpad. Fly to the bottom left until you reach this blue crystal. Enter the area and look for this Glyphodon. 
talk to them for the free golden pomegranate. You'll get max hearts with any animal that you give this item to. It works for both pets and barn animals. So don't forget to visit them every season. And speaking of animals, there's also two animals that you could find in this cave. Let's first talk about horses. You'll need to complete 10 prophecies to have access to alfalfa, which you can forage in the jungle near the jungle fowls. But that's not entirely necessary to unlock this area. You can get alfalfa by befriending Gelrod, as he randomly gives you one of his love gifts every week. You can also get this from Zelk through his trading shop at random instances. Once you get the alfalfa, give it to this horse totem to gain access to this hidden part of the savanna. Spiders Another animal that can only be found in the caves are the spider pets. Head over to the no man's rock and fly east. Enter this room to gain access to the spiders, which you can attune three times to make them your pet. Free gems For more free gems, travel to the monkey's room and use this monkey pad on the left. Talk to the Glutodon for free food, and then travel to this rock that has a hidden owl pad. Fly east until you reach this area and talk to the Glyphodon for free gems. Dark Rooms Last one on the list are the most irritating rooms in the caves, the Dark Rooms. I'll just be sharing what you can get from them, but don't worry, I'll be sharing a complete walkthrough for it on a different video. Anyways. Finishing the maze at a very dark room will give you 500 free contributions. Finishing Stomp Your Feet will give you 750 contributions. But the only one that has a really good reward in my opinion would be a harder room which gives a permanent plus 40 max stamina. So there you have it folks. Thank you once again to the very helpful patrons at the official discord server for these informations. And I've dropped a link in the description in case any new Pachan wants to join our budding community. And that's it for now. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more indie game guides coming your way. Bye bye